the first week of May 2022, we travel to Bears Ears National Monument in Utah. We heard that this place is very beautiful because there are nice canyons, there are nice flowers, there are many interesting here. But during the President Trump, he cut off 80% of this national monument so they can do mining. There are four, five native tribes to President Trump at the time. But during President Biden, he took it back. So we want to hike here to see how beautiful it is, how it looks like, because we don't know. They maybe let the company do mining, we maybe cannot see it again. But to come here is not very easy. In the first two, three hours, it's quite nice hike because it's smooth and nice. It's very easy to hike. It seems like there are not many animals in this area. We saw some poop like this. It can be fox, a coyote, or a wolf. That means it's too dry, not many animals here. There are some trees in this area, mainly pines and juniper. I love the smell of juniper. It reminds me of gin and tonics. The first few hours of hiking, it seemed like there's not many things interesting. It's flat and not many trees on the way. Only heat and sand. But not really long, we came to the cliffs. Down there, it looked very interesting. It was very windy. There's no tree, there's nothing around here, so the wind is very strong. With the big backpack in the back, and it's hard to step on the rock. It's hard to see the path. We need to see the rock that people stack on top of each other. So we can see that is the direction we will go. And it's windy, heavy, tired, and long, long time. We don't know when it's going to end, but it is the best time for me. This is the most important time that I can be with myself because my mind cannot go anywhere. My mind just focus on my feet. I keep moving my feet every step, step on the stable rocks. Make sure that every rock will not move when I step on it. I keep going and going like this. This is the most precious time because if my mind move away from my feet, I can have accident. I can get hurt easily. That is the best time to enjoy myself. Every step is so precious because that means I, I am alive. I am still alive. I enjoy my move. I enjoy my feet touch the rock. I enjoy my heavy breathing. I enjoy good air. It was so nice. No bodies around here. No thing to think about. Just walking and walking. So much joy. I love to be here. Most of the time I focus my destination. I just enjoy moving my leg and keep going and going. My destination is still quite far away. It can be another one or two hours. It will be the green spot, the green tree over there. That is our destination. That's what they call Sundance Campsite, that we are going there. When I don't think about my destination, my mind just be with my feet, my movement. Not very long, we arrive. But it takes quite long when you think about time. This is where they call Sundance Campsite. It's very beautiful creek here. We set up a tent in another side of the cliff. The first we think about is set up a tent, our tents on the, under the cliffs. But I feel scared. I worry that the rock will fall down. But other people don't feel scared like me. But it's good that we move. It's so beautiful. I love the creek. I love the clear water here. So nice. 
a little bit far away from the creek it's so dry you can see so many cactus everything dry but cactus still alive this is cucumber cactus and then many cactus have different colors of flowers they are so beautiful if you come here in beginning of may is the best time for flowers this is the first yucca flowers for us this year and if you like wild desert flowers here is quite nice to come and see there are so many varieties of wild flowers they are very colorful very beautiful but what i interested the most is how this plant can tolerate to drought because this area there's no moisture no water at all just sand like this how can they grow well how can they produce so beautiful flowers all the time this is the most interesting part of it because we want to develop varieties of plant that they can tolerate to droughts so to come and study the flowers the plant in desert area is very important look at these flowers many of them they grow in the middle of the in the crack of the rocks they don't even have soil no soil no water very little soil but how can they survive how can they live happily here even animal this is only animal that we found here lizards even bird still very rare we found some crow and a little bit of bird that means it's so hard to live here mainly this area is rocks a lot of rocks many different layers of rocks when we look at these rocks it's not only something beautiful something different but we can understand so many things many million years ago how this rock form itself many rocks different color different shape different surface that can help us to imagine to think about the history of each rock many million years ago what happened with them sometimes we can see some thing in there it's hot day after hike for a long time we can enjoy the cold water it's very cold but it's nice to be in the cold water a little bit when it's very hot but you cannot stay there long so this water is good for drinking too we need to filter the water first hiking is very good way to exercise because we can move every part of our body and we get tired we breathe very strong and we get a lot of good air really clean very nice this is the best place for exercise in the same time taking a nap is very important after we hiking for many hours in the evening it's so beautiful evening it's nice to cook something and have something to eat we have dal but indian food here is very easy but not too heavy for us we hike maybe four or five hours per day in the night time we sleep very well in the morning we get up early we start to walk again this is the art from nature they create beautiful art everywhere so the next day we we'll walk from dark canyon to joy with colorado river this part is quite beautiful today it will be more beautiful than yesterday but we have to hike in the very scary area we need to hike along the steep cliff like this is quite dangerous because if you fall there's no chance to survive it's so deep this is the edge of the canyon that we can hike along both sides there is no easy path that we can go because it's so deep 
and then the edge is so stiff. We need to climb on the rock like a monkey. It's fun in one way, but it's scary in the same time. In one hour, we can't go very far because we move very slow because it's quite scary. It's stiff and then rocky and many rock. We need to be very careful. So it's quite challenging but fun. I like this feeling quite a lot because it helped me to be with myself more, to be more careful. Cannot think about anything else. Just be with the moments, be with the present time. Sometimes we have to climb down very steep and deep area. Sometimes we can't imagine how can we come back up here. So, but when we go down, it's incredible, beautiful. I can't believe that our world can be this beautiful. If we don't try to come, we will never know that this is our world. It looks like a different planet to me, but it's real. It's here. I'm happy that I make decision to come here. It's opened my mind, opened my heart a lot to understand how beautiful our world is. I am just a tiny piece of sand on this earth. The world is so big. Everything is so big. Everything is connected together. What do I need? What do I want? What and where am I going to? This is very important for me to think about it. Look at these tiny flowers. They don't have a lot of soil, not a lot of water at all. They have less than many life on this earth. But they can produce beautiful flowers to make the world look nice. This grass, it has no value in many people's eyes because they are just a grass on the side of the path. But when they dancing in the wind, it can make an exhausted old man traveler like me smile and enjoy it. This is beauty of life.